Let's work on a sequel question using multiple CTEs. This is episode 12 of my Christmas sequel series, where every day leading up to Christmas, we break a sequel question down in painful detail. Today's question is, the North Pole Network wants to see who is the most active in the holiday chat every day. Count how many messages each user sent per day, then find the most active users per day. If multiple users tie for first place, return all of them. So we have two tables today, NPM users and NPM messages. The question wants us to first count how many messages each user sent per day and then find the most active each day. So let's do this in two separate CTEs. First CTE we'll use to get the number of messages sent per user per day. But since message sent time is in timestamp, let's not forget to cast this column first into date format. Now in the second CTE, we're going to rank each user by day by the number of messages sent. We'll need to use the rank window function, but why rank not row number? Well, if we look at the question, it says that if multiple users tie for first place, we want to return all of them. The rank function will assign the same rank to all users with the same message count. So this way we can get all users who have tied for first place. Now finishing off this window function, what goes into over clause? We're going to partition by the sent date first, then we're going to order by the number of messages in descending order. And now finally, we're just going to have to filter on rank equals one, and this will get us the most active user per day. All right, this was a long one, but that is our final query. This is 24 days of SQL. The next one's tomorrow. Follow along for more.